Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got the Natasha Denona Holiday Eyeshadow Palette Review. You guys know I absolutely love Natasha Denona. I own many of her palettes and I absolutely love the quality. Um, if you guys haven't heard of Natasha Denona, she's an international makeup artist. She's got her own makeup line and the eyeshadows because that's the only thing I've tried from the collection are absolutely stunning they do require a bit of work um, but on the eyes they look absolutely stunning I am wearing Natasha Denona on my eyes today whenever I wear uh, Natasha Denona eyeshadows I always get compliments um, I always get asked what I'm wearing on the eyes so the formula the metallics, they just look absolutely amazing on the eyes. I have other um, review videos on the palette, so I'll leave the link down below. But today we're talking about the holiday collection, so Christmas 2017 holiday releases. These are limited edition, and she brought out two eyeshadow palettes and four toppers, which I haven't purchased yet. But uh, these are what the eyeshadow palettes look like. Beautiful. We'll go in depth um, into the palettes. But to start off with, the box looks like this. This is what the box looks like. It is a bronze metallic. It is absolutely gorgeous. And these are the eyeshadow of five pan palettes for the holidays. Um, these contain five eyeshadows each. Um, so each palette and they are 2.5 grams each pa um, pan which is bigger size than an average eyeshadow pan because normally it's a gram one gram of product um, but this contains 2.5 grams and that's why they're very expensive um, these products are made in Italy um, yeah so there's t three types of textures in the eyeshadow palette which I'll go into um, detail when we do the swatches and stuff but uh, that's a box very it's nice um, but that's not what we're here for uh, let's talk about the two palettes so the first one we have here um, this is what the palette looks like it is a plastic clear top it closes um, I don't know it's like a closed soft shut um, and yeah, this is what the five pans look like. They're just rectangular pans. The uh, packaging is like gold metallic. And yeah, so this palette is called Number One Joya. So this is her first palette um, from the holiday. So this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing this beautiful gorgeous yellow metallic shade on the lid and I've got on this shade this maroon plummy matte shade on my crease so this is your warm tone palette um, it speaks out my name um, there is like a duochrome pinky gold peachy shade there's two maroons uh, one's more matte one's uh, like a satin finish a metallic yellow um, and a duochrome glittery like um, I don't know peachy gold bronze with like pink and gold shimmer like they're so cool I'll swatch them for you soon but that is the palette one then we have palette two which um, this is what it looks like and same packaging this is number two Aries and the palette is so beautiful I mainly bought it for like the four shades you probably thought I bought it for the blue but not really because this blue is like a more like an icy blue like it's a blue with silver base and they don't typically look good on me if it was blue with gold base I would have like bought it or I would have wanted it so bad but it is like a silver base anyway um again warm tone with a pop of blue love the shades in these um 
Yeah, I'll still use the blue um, in a tutorial or something um, because I do like it, but that's not what I bought this palette for. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to jump onto swatches and show you arm swatches, and then we're going to talk about the formula and where you can buy this and if I would recommend them. So this is the first palette swatch. From left to right, we have Peachy Gold, Fuchsia, Gold, Red Grape, and Star Bronze. As you can see, um, there are different formulas. Star Bronze is quite glittery, so that is the fifth shade. Then we have a matte, which is the fuchsia, the second shade. The gold is like a metallic, and the first shade, which is peachy gold, is um, like a duochrome metallic, and red grape is like a satin finish. Um, super pigmented, there's no primer on my hands, they're just one swipe pigmentation, and yeah, they look really, really nice. So here are the swatches of the Aries palette. So this is number two. From left to right, we have Nude, Red Bronze, Burnt Terracotta, Ice Blue, and Peach Bronze. I am in love with Burnt Terracotta. That middle matte shade, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and yeah, as you can see, again, these are one swipe swatches, there's no primer underneath. Um, Nude is a nice metallic shade, so is Red Bronze. It's got a bit of, like, gold shimmer to it. We've got Burnt Terracotta, which is a beautiful, like, matte burnt terracotta shade, like, it's stunning. Then we have Ice Blue, so it's a light blue with silver um, shimmer and we've got peach bronze which is a new formula which is a glittery like metallic glittery kind of shade so overall um you guys saw the swatches so the formula is quite similar to the large pan palette so it's not any different just because it's a holiday palette so the formula the swatches they all swatch nicely they apply the same on the eyes so when it comes to the application on the eyes they need building up just like other Natasha Denona palettes so the eyeshadows on the eyes definitely need building up they swatch better than they apply but I still love the Natasha palettes and the eyeshadows, they are absolutely gorgeous. Just because on the eyes, once it's on, it looks good. But it is work getting on the eyes. So I definitely have a glitter glue under my yellow shade just to intensify it. Otherwise, it is not as intense. Um, there is quite a bit of fallout with all her eyeshadows. Um, but especially the holiday ones, they do have fallout. So I did my eyes first before I did my base. Um, but like I said, once it's on, it's beautiful. I love her eyeshadows and they're no different to her normal uh, permanent line of eyeshadows. These are absolutely stunning. They look amazing on the eyes and yeah they apply beautifully and I like the color selection of these um I wish I don't know these were like combined yeah because I can't really choose the shades I love them um anyway these retail for 69 Australian dollars and it is now available at Sephora um Australia like you can go into stores to watch them and buy them because they are expensive so you want to swatch them and they're available online I actually bought this off Beautylish when it released last month um, for $49.48 dollars US dollars um, so that's that and they were sold out of Aries but when they released it in Australia I picked it up um, but yeah, so you can buy it online or now in store in Australia, which is great. They have all the other Natasha Denona palettes as well and the rest of the collection, like the foundation and stuff. So if you want to go swatch them before you buy them, you can do that now. But um, 
yeah, I know these are very expensive, but $69, five pans of 2.5 grams each. That is actually really good value if you like the shades, you know. Um, it is not for everyone. These are quite bold, both of them. So they are full of color. So if you want to buy it, if you like it, get it. If you don't think you're going to use, you know, like two shades out of the five, um, just don't bother because then it is expensive. But I am a Natasha Denona fan. Um, I like her eyeshadows, so I will. So I bought it, and luckily it looks great. So, yeah, that is all I have for you today. And will I recommend this palette? Yes, I will. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, quickly before I leave, I wanted to just compare this to the Sunset palette, which I absolutely adore. Um, just because these are warm tone palettes and I want to show you and um, so you can decide if you need the holiday palettes if you already have sunset or if you've got the holiday palettes do you need the sunset because this is beautiful. So that is the Natasha Denona sunset palette which is my favourite um, and I absolutely love it. So this is what the shades look like, beautiful they're just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So let's compare it to the Joya palette first. Um, there is that shade which it looks similar to this one, but it's not. This one's more plummy. This one's more pinky red. So the mattes are different. The yellow on here is matte. This one's shimmery. Um, the other orange or golds are not as yellow. Um, there is a bronze shade. There's this one there, like the one on the end, the first shade here. Um, but, you know, I don't think any of them are really similar. So, yeah, I mean, in saying that you don't really need this, unless you'd really want that yellow, I don't think the other shades as are different to the Sunset palette. But if you really want that yellow, I would go for it because um, it's good but if you're not going to use the yellow um and if you've got the sunset don't bother because there are similar shades in the sunset palette then we've got the aries obviously there's no blue in it so the blue is very different there's no burnt terracotta shade in here the burnt terracotta is like it's like terracotta whereas the other mattes here are more warm brown or orange or chocolate brown whereas this is very different um and the rest of the shades, there is this one, which is red bronze, which is a red bronzy shade. Nothing is similar to that in the sunset. So, yeah. In saying that, again, you can kind of work with it if you don't really want the blue or the burnt terracotta. But this is definitely more different than the Joya to the sunset. So, if you were to pick one up and you've got the sunset, I would go for the Aries one. Unless you're really going to use the Joya's uh, yellow, then I would get that. But um, the Joya is more similar to the Sunset than the Aries is. But I like both. I wanted the yellow shimmer, so I bought it. And I love the Sunset. I love all the palettes. I don't have the Star or the Lila, Lila, Lila palette. Um, yeah. When they come into stores, I, they have the Star palette. I need to swatch it. And when Lila comes in. I will swatch it and if I like it, I will have to buy it. But uh, they're also getting Sunset palettes in Sephora stores, so keep an eye out. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry I was all over this video. Like, I don't know. I like the palettes. I recommend it. The only thing I would say is you definitely need to work with the shadows. You definitely need a glitter glue um, or a setting spray to make them metallics like last and pop on the eyes um, and also there's a bit of fallout which is unfortunate but the eyeshadows are beautiful and I'm gonna definitely keep um, reviewing them but yeah that is it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it please subscribe if you haven't already and 
quickly before I go on my lips because I always get questions about my lip products I'm wearing a Colourpop lippy pencil in Love Bug and on top I'm wearing a lippy stick from Colourpop in the shade Poison which is a matte formula but yeah anyways I will see you guys in my next video bye